Hey y'all, it's Nicole from Spiegel Mom Scraps and today I am also working um, off the board with pineapple papers and the pin that I chose is a layout by Lisa Fonseca, I hope I said that right, and then here is my layout, um, I'm also using the um, pack your bags sequin mix to go along with this layout. So here's the picture I'm gonna scrap. It's of me and my daughter, and I'm using the Garden Shop collection from uh, Paige Taylor Evans. So my dog came in and he was panting all over the place, so I had to stop recording, and now I'm recording again. So, okay, um, I have this close to my heart paper. Um, don't know when it's from, don't know what pa pack it's from. I just put it in with my pink papers because I liked the pink side of this paper. Um, and then I'm going to um, cut three quarters of an inch off of um, the vertical and horizontal of this white paper. And then um, I was just checking to see which hearts I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna use those three from um, my Hip Kit Club uh, dies. I went off screen and I distressed my white paper and now I'm going to go ahead and put it on the pink paper. There we go. Now um, here I'm going to take some of my, my papers here and um, I do grab a bit more because I need nine hearts so I need nine papers total, but um, I go off screen and I d do the die cutting for all of them. Then um, at first I was going to fold these and cut them and I do it all off screen, but I do wind up eventually just cutting them and not caring about folding them. <laughs> so I didn't care if they were straight. Um, if you know me, you know that I like to do wonky. So um, for me, it didn't matter if it wasn't straight or not. So here I'm just um, dividing everything by color, as you can see there, and then I'm gonna start um, building up my hearts. So um, when I do wind up putting, taping them down, these first hearts that I'm doing, I'm going the biggest ones, I'm going to pop up on some Big Mama foam tape that is available in the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop. Um, also, I'm gonna have my links down below from all the Spiegel Mom Scrap goodies that I'm going to be using. And here we go, we're almost done with these. Um, I didn't want two of the same stuff next to each other. So I go off screen and I put those down and again, I did it wonky. I didn't care if it was straight, I didn't care if it was crooked. And then here I'm going to be adding the second, the medium size hearts. And again, um, I'm going to be putting them on like off center or tilted. Like they're even wonkier to the wonky hearts. So yeah, I'm just going to go crazy with these wonky, wonkiness here. And then I am gonna go off screen. I'm just gonna use my tape runner to um, attach these so I don't um, have to do layer upon layer upon layer. And then here we're gonna do the last little, um, the little hearts. And again, I'm gonna do wonky again. So um, yeah, that's just my, my way. Um, but yes, I, I pretty much followed exactly what Lisa did on hers. But yeah, you can see what I'm doing here. And then of course I go off screen, I put them all down. And then while I'm off screen for these last ones, I'm going to uh, fold up all the edges of all of the hearts. So you'll see that, see? They're all folded up and giving some nice texture on the page. So here's my photo she has hers tucked into the hearts but mine doesn't really work like that so i'm just going to lay it like that i do go off screen and i distress my pay, my photo and then i'm just gonna put some um 
<laughs> what is this call, stuff called? Big Mama foam tape, um, right where it's gonna be sitting on the hearts. And then I'm gonna put some Big Mama foam tape right in the middle of where my picture is going to be. And I don't actually add the sticky part of the tape. I just add it there for stability. So it's not really stuck on there. It's just going to be sticking to the hearts. Don't ask me why I did that. I'm weird. I don't know why I thought that I didn't need it. Maybe I thought it would, I don't, I don't know, like have a little indentation because it wasn't tall enough. I don't know. But there, it's down. So now we're going to have the fun part of embellishing. The first thing I do is grab some of the leaves off of this little sticker sheet. Um, I totally dismantled my sticker book. That way I don't have to like flip through them and look for stuff. Now I can just take each individual page and um, grab what I need. So I am going to grab a couple of leaves from this um, sticker sheet. And then one of the leaves was like stuck. It didn't cut properly. So that's why I'm fighting with it right now. But um, eventually I move on and then I do put one sticker over to on this heart right here there we go I don't know why I did that I mean whatever <laughs> it's there um, so now I'm going to grab my letter stickers and I'm going to do my title which is going to be my little love and this is my a picture of me and my youngest and um, she's growing up too fast of course um, she is now 13 and in this picture she was 12, but, uh, it didn't matter because she's still growing too fast, no matter what age she is. Um, I do go off screen and I glue every single one of these letters down. So I don't make you watch me do that, but I do go off screen to do that. And then um, I grab this little phrase sticker here. It says, always smiling. And then what else do I grab? I grab something and put it there. I grab something and put it there. I don't know exactly what they are because they're too small for me to read on my screen. And um, I'm too lazy to go and get the, <laughs> the layout and look at it so i'm so sorry you guys will have to read it on your own or see it in the close-ups or just disregard that it's there at all anyway um i did put some little stars i mean hearts here and those are some foiled hearts they are like a bronze gold color i do put this sticker here and then i decide it is too flat and it just blends into the background so i don't use that I'm going to use this little tab right here on this heart and then I'm going to also grab a half circle and use it over here on this heart. Um, let's see what else I do. Oh, I grabbed um, a little phrase sticker that says grateful and I popped it up on some Big Mama foam tape. And then I was going to add buttons, but then I'm like, hey, I'm going to add sequins. I don't need no stinking buttons on here. So I put the buttons away, and then I just grab the floral ephemera. And I start adding stuff to, like, all the hearts. So I make sure that, like, almost all the hearts have something. And that middle piece, I actually fussy cut it a little bit before I put it down. And, um, of course, I like to bend up the edges and make it seem a little bit more textural. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, I'm just adding those. Um, again, I'm going to have links to the Spiegel Mom Scraps products down below in my description. And... I'm also going to have the playlist for pineapple papers down um, for the off the board uh, with pineapple papers. And if I can find Lisa's um, Instagram account, I'm going to link it down below as well. So um, I'm pretty much done with those. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue them down. 
And I go off screen to do that because you don't need to see me gluing stuff down. Um, here I'm using the pinch method, as I like to call it, of putting sequins on the page. I just pinch some out of the um, storage container, little baggie, and then I sprinkle them on. I went off camera to glue them down because you don't need to see me gluing them down. I just use my um, art glitter glue to do that. And then now I'm adding my journaling and I'm gonna call it done. So um, thank you so much for watching today. Check the links down below for supplies and the playlist and Lisa's Instagram if I can find it. Um, here are come the close-ups. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.